Yo YouTube, what up Army ATC22 coming back at you with a video of pickups from Chantilly. Um, Friday, I went to Chantilly, could only go for a day. This weekend we had uh, some other things happening. So I um, went up Friday, I was supposed to be golfing, um, got rained out and instead of going today, Sunday, um, I swapped it and went um, Friday instead. Uh, so today, uh, more relaxing, do catch up laundry and stuff like that, and recap. So uh, the day was crazy. I I came with a, a one of my boxes, threw a whole bunch of stuff in there, different things, and sold a good bit of stuff, bought more stuff, and then sold some of that, bought some more. You know, I was trying to make some money, and on top, getting more inventory um, for my shows and everything, and prepping for. The national getting stuff that i think would be moving at the national um so you know i i, I look for oddball stuff things that are different things that people i know people like um if you have anything that you're looking to move maybe in bulk or or whatever i always need stuff for my value bins um looking for 50 cents to a dollar card not less uh, numbered autos jerseys that's what i'm looking for patches i'm not looking for just regular base cards that aren't numbered so um hit me up instagram easiest way place to contact me um go to my instagram message me there uh but yeah let's see some of the stuff i got so one of the things about last year at the national I was able to to get two helmets for my collection my full-size collection one from every team that I'm, that I'm doing for my man cave. Um, being in Chicago this year, I'm gonna have to see if I can put these in my suitcase. Um, I might still, cause I, I'd like to get a few more for my collection while I'm there because of the plethora of different things. But Chantilly is a great place for uh, autographs and stuff like that. I was supposed to go today and I possibly would have got this in person. However, um, the deal that I got on this, I felt like it was a no-brainer. Didn't get to meet meet him, but uh, to my collection, adding a speed replica of Mean Joe Green. Um, beautiful looking helmet, full size Steelers logo. Uh, so yeah, I am uh, I'm happy about this. Excited to add it to my collection. Another one down. Still got plenty more to go. Um, my list, I, I, I change my list around like all the time. And this is my dad's, one of my dad's favorite players watching growing up. So I'm gonna go with it. It's gonna be on display for forever, passed down to generations and generations. But, so that was the big PC pickup for while I was there. The rest are stuff that constantly moving, going which way. Um, I always like to, you know, make a little bit of money to get a box, a cheaper box. To break and have a good time this year uh this this show i decided to get a box of the Re new wwe revolution just trying for a kaboom it's a cheap box it's an extremely cheap box for a try for some of these kabooms that are going for massive amounts um it's still shot in the dark technically legalized gambling but i had a decent box so a uh, few of the few of the cards i'm just going to show you uh, alpha academy this is one of the inserts Looks like dual people, uh, pretty deadly, you know, dual, um, Lita, stargazing, and uh, B -B -B Matt Riddle, I think the shockwave, I think it's called, one of the insert sets. Um, then I got a groove of Wes Lee, and these aren't numbered, a Bailey, Fractal, uh, Dexter Loomis, Astro, Astro seem like be the parallel that are most common because you get, I got three, uh, Oro, Astro, the girl that, uh, that I, if there's any of the divas that I liked, it was the legs, Stacy Keebler, Astro, gosh, I, she was, she was in my top, crush on her like crazy, the diva, um, couple rookies, Quincy Elliott, rookie. And then uh, Thea Hall, Thea Hale, 
rookie. I also got a, a Astro rookie of her. Um, got a lift off of Ray Mysterio. Pretty sweet. That's a sweet looking card. Like he's actually lifting off, so that's pretty awesome, right? Uh, some some numbers: Tyler Bate out of 199 Impact, uh, Coffee out of 99 Sunburst, and uh, Hurt Lock, the Almighty Bobby Lashley Revolutionary Finishers out of 99 Sunburst, also. But I also ended up getting one of the boxes that actually had an auto. Unfortunately, it is a redemption. It is a sunburst. AJ Styles numbered out of 99. So I don't know if it's actually going to pick it up. I'm on the cinematic mode on my phone. But AJ Styles auto. So got an auto box. Wasn't the best box, but still a lot in there to uh, add to my boxes of non major sports. So yeah, for, for add 100 or less. Like that's what they're going for. That's not bad. I also got a pack, of, a, a free Father's Day pack for for spending at that shop, at that uh, table, or whatever. And I actually got a Trevor Lawrence twenty three of twenty five uh, insert from the Father's Day packs twenty twenty three. I don't know if you'll be able to read it. Father's Day packs. I'm supposed to say it down there. The cinematic mode is not gonna not gonna do. Not gonna allow it to to come into focus. But, all right, starting off with some raw stuff that I ended up getting. I found this, so digging, having the time to dig into boxes and looking around um, is always fun. Um, not the, not for me, not so much the dollar cards and stuff like that, unless I'm trying to buy the whole thing to add to mine. Um, I did that a few times, but a couple people just couldn't come to a good agreement for a price. But I did find some things. Uh, this, Drake London, Patch Auto from Zenith out of 299. I found this box, this card, in a box, a $15 box. Like people, are, this isn't a $15 card, and it was in there. So I, it wasn't even sleeve. It was sleeve, but it wasn't top loaded. So I, I quickly grabbed it. I made sure. I'm like, is this supposed to be in here? And he said, yeah. I had a sticker on it. So I was like, sweet. So 15 bucks for that. You can find deals like this. He is one of those players that the Falcons are getting a lot of love. Ritter, him, uh, Bijan Robinson, the new draft pick running back that they got. They're expected to possibly win the South. Um, so his stuff is, is selling. Um, I couldn't pass the, the deal I got on this. 5 of 10 Joe Theismann on-card patch auto from National Treasures, 2017 National Treasures. It's just, that's disgusting. I got a great deal on this. Um, for my homes year, actually. But, yeah, beautiful. Theismann has a beautiful auto. Um, out of 10, couldn't be, pass it up. Uh, Jalen Waddle, jumbo jersey. It's supposed to be a patch auto. Um, out of 99 from Select. Rookie jersey auto. Uh, Jalen Hurts, rookie year on card auto from Spectra Draft Picks. It is a college one, but it is an on-card rookie auto of Hertz. So um, I got a good deal on it. I actually got these two together with a couple others. And it was a really good deal. Um, I found this also in a, a it wasn't a, it's more of a box that had more price stuff on it. Didn't have a price on it. And he gave me an offer. He gave me a number and I can't count it and he took it. So everyone loves downtowns. Roger Starbuck, Cowboys. Everyone loves Cowboys stuff as fans, um, but I got it downtown. And then the last raw that I picked up, a uh, kid came up to a table while I was searching through stuff and, and trying to come up to a deal. And I think it was more of the presentation that he had um, for this card. The top loader looked really ragged. Um, was it, it didn't have a team bag, anything around it. It just it looked like it was rough. Um, so the dealer that he came to and he was just like, no, sorry, kid. I don't want it. I don't want to deal with it. Um, I, he didn't even ask for a price. So I asked him like, how much are you asking you know, for this? Um, he gave me a number. Uh, I thought he was extremely low on his number. I brought up actually comps right there at the table for him. And, uh, and I bought this 
So I, so then I, you know, I explained to him, you know, the reasonings of people buying for, you know, less than comps, you know, trying to say, Hey, if you would sell this on eBay, take what they would get, take what it would take for PayPal to take their little bit and everything, you know, that's how you come out to that price, you know, for, for individuals trying to buy. Um, I actually went halfway between that, told him what the price was. And I was just like, I'll buy it for me for that. Um, but uh, it is Larry Fitz from 2020 Absolute Kaboom. Put it in a new top loader. And actually when I looked at it, you know, the cor this corner looks like a little, a little rough or whatever, but the whole uh, rest of it looks nice, looks fine. Um, everyone loves Kabooms. I've only had a few, um, but this is, he, he is, he, he was, you know, a great wide receiver, will be a Hall of Famer. Um, so I, I picked it up from him, helped gave the kid a little bit of cash, took it places. And I saw him later grabbing a few other things with some money. So, um, it was great, great pickup for that. So, um, then, you know, getting with slabs, try to stay out of anything besides PSA 10s, not uh, BGS 95s, 10s. Um, I did pick up a small little lot for super cheap. As soon as I walked in, um, there's a couple tables there. Edwards rookie for mosaic eight. You know, that's just the cheap slab. Um, DJ Moore, red, white, and blue, nine. Uh, and two nines, Alfred Sangoon. This is a blue velocity and uh, silver prism. Uh, I got all these, all, all four of these for um, 30 bucks. So, yeah, I, it's little things like that. These are things I like to have in my, in my, um, when I'm trying to sell for the individuals are just trying to find a few little cards. Maybe they're trying to flip and stuff like that. So I'll be able to get some good deals for them. But mainly go for tens and everything else. So first off, uh, Anthony Edwards, Silver Prism from Select, uh, PSA 10. <coughs> Chinese New Year, uh, SGA from Revolution. Revolution's always been one of my favorite products. Um, PSA 10, rookie. Just J Jet. Uh, green mosaic um, from 2020 rookie PSA 10 Justin Fields. I, I have never had too much Justin Fields stuff, and I, I had a couple opportunities to get some things, and um, but I, I got this. You know, these fire bursts come in, are actually pretty cheap, but it is a PSA 10 of him shiny. Who knows, right? Um, this card. Did I get with another? Oh, I sold the other one. It was crazy. Um, this is PSA 10, 21 Select Warm Room Signature White, 20 of 25. I thought the price on it was extremely low, um, so I picked it up. I actually countered and he came down a little bit lower, um, but Hall of Fame, quarterback, you know, PSA 10, I, it's it's a no-brainer. There, there are other collectors. Um, this card it has a very, very low pop, and uh, he he is this this will be easy to sell, trade, and everything down the road. But uh, silver 2022 Spectra, you know Spectra's thicker cards, PSA 10 of uh, Kenny Pickett. So um, a little extremely low pop actually, but I thought it was a good price that I talked to the guy with and came to the deal. Um, another card came with that one, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, Jason Tatum, Shock from Optic, PSA 10. Got a good deal from Showtime Sports on that. Shout out to Chris. And last one of these is 2020 Select Die Cut Neon Green. Not numbered, it's the re one of the retail ones. Joe Burrow, PSA 10. Another one that he is, they're, they're expected to do um, big thing in Cincy, so, yeah. Um, lastly, I got two cards. I like to find, one of the things when I'm searching is trying to find cards that are different, that you don't see a lot, and, uh, stand out. You know, of course, standing out, downtown's kabooms, people love them. You know, the mangas, all those case hit type of things. Um, however, for me, I've always said the two parallels that I love the most are the tie-dyes out of 25, from Select and all the Nebulas. I mean, they're normally one-on-one. Spectra, they have them weird numbering. Sometimes two, sometimes four. 
but uh, normally 101s, but the color of it in the background just aesthetically just looks great. So I found this 2019 Panini Select Terry McLaurin, Scary Terry Phenomenon tie-dye. This is a PSA 9, a 5 of 25, but it just looks beautiful. Um, being close to the Commanders, whatever they're gonna be called in the future, it's actually Redskins. Um, this card hasn't sold in two years. Um, I got a really good, really good price on it. Along with that, uh, Kenny Pickett got the deal together. Uh, figured when I pick it up, Commanders are also another team that a lot of people are high on. High on Sam Howe, um, Brian Robinson, that whole thing. So I, I figured to pick this up. This just looks looks sweet. The last card I picked up is something that uh, you don't see every day. Um, it is uh, an XRC, but it's an XRC from 2016. Um, again, from that team that is expected to do really well with the Bengals. Um, it's 2016 Select, 2017 Rookie Prisms Gold of Joe Mixon. BGS 9.5. Uh... Saw this, came to a, an agreement. Um, actually, it was part of a trade slash sale deal. Um, one of the one of the dealers there was actually buying in bulk, and he bought some stuff from me, and I and he had stuff for sale, and I added this to because it's just you know no none of, none of, no other of these have been graded. Um, who knows how many are even out there? Uh, but eight of ten Joe Mixon Gold XRC. 9.5 um this is an incredible card uh he is i i arguably one of the most underrated running backs in the league um they get a lot of focus on burrow to chase and not him so yeah i figured i'd pick it up gold's always a good thing it's not the most valuable card out there but it's something different and i like that type of stuff but but yeah that's all i got um, thank you guys for watching all 17 minutes of this, um, preparing for the national, um, this weekend coming up, of course, 4th of July weekend, not really doing anything car related. I'll be out in the middle of nowhere in, in West Virginia, in my parents' cabin, enjoying life. Um, weekend after that, two shows, there'll be a show on Saturday at the Regacy Square Mall, uh, hosted by Three Point, gonna be there, hope to see a lot of people there if you're in this area. Um, and then Sunday, Colonial Heights, that show, smaller show, but this smaller show is always good. Um, the following weekend after that, possibly going to be in Virginia Beach at their show, um, at the Bingo Hall. And then the weekend after that, I have nothing. Um, it is the weekend before the National but I might go down to Raleigh. Raleigh has a three day show. I might go down to Raleigh for a day to do some last minute buying prior to the national and everything. But, uh, but yeah, then it leads up to the national. So, um, comment down below what you like the best from this. Um, like, and subscribe. All my information is below. Go to, go to Instagram. Um, Check out my stuff there. It, it's easier to post on Instagram than it is on YouTube. YouTube, you know, doing videos and everything. Instagram is easy to post the pictures. You can see some of my stuff, some of the, the journey. Um, excited for the national. Hopefully partner with a, quite a few people while I'm there. I've already talked to a good bit of individuals, do some collabs and stuff. Um, and I wanna see you. If you're watching this video and you're going, come say hi to me, message me. Say you want to get together, might be able to do a trade, trade nights, everything else is going there. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Road to the National 2023. Catch you later. Deuces.